So you're in the market for a really good home defense arsenal, but you have a very tight budget. What do you do? Well, stick around and we're going to show you some really good options. What's going on guys? Trey here at the Ghost Tactical just doing a quick video for a good home home defense arsenal on a budget. I'm here on location at my, my favorite gun shop in my local town in Heber Springs, Arkansas. This is Heber Guns, so welcome. They've got a wonderful selection of uh, all sorts of stuff. Rifles, pistols, shotguns. Uh, they've got sights. They've got every holster. They've got everything you could possibly want. So you go check out Heber Gun here in Heber Springs, Arkansas. It's an awesome, awesome place. Over the last couple of months, I've had a lot of comments and a lot of emails wanting to know what a really good, solid uh, three-gun home defense arsenal on a fixed budget is. Now, most of the people that they have emailed me or asked me have not really given a specific number, but I thought what I'd do today is talk about uh, a really good arsenal for home defense, self-defense on a $600 budget. And there's some awesome options out there, and by no means are the options that I'm going to give you today the only ones that are out there. But these are a really good. Um, these are really good guns. I have all three of these guns uh, at home in my arsenal. So this is going to be one of those that uh, we're going to talk a little bit about a home defense and self-defense arsenal on a budget. All right. So the first gun we're going to talk about is the handgun. All these guns are are clear and safe. The first gun we're going to talk about is the handgun side of the arsenal. Uh, my choice for a really good budget handgun is the High Point 9mm. Now I know High Point gets uh, ragged on by a lot of people. They are what they are, but one thing that they really are are uh, very uh, dependable guns. They are not the most tactical handguns you're ever going to find in the world. Uh, they're not the prettiest guns in the world, but uh, I've put probably a couple thousand rounds through this thing and um, I can tell you the one thing it does do is it shoots every time. Like I said, they are not the prettiest gun in the world, but they are phenomenal handguns, especially for a, uh, a newcomer to it or someone who's looking for a really good handgun for a really good budget price. The basic specs on these is it's got a three and a half inch barrel. It's uh, about six and three quarter inches uh, in total length, and it weighs about 29 ounces. So it is a little heavier. Um, it can be used as a concealed carry gun, no problem. Uh, a lot of people use these for uh, nightstand guns, underneath the bed, uh, truck guns and all that, but this is a really good uh, budgetary uh, handgun for home defense, self-defense. It is a polymer frame gun. The bolt and the slot are both stainless steel, so you're getting uh, the best of both worlds there. Uh, you got with three, uh, the sights are, you got three dot fully adjustable sights, so uh, you know you need to adjust them. They're uh, easily adjusted. There is a thumb safety here. Uh, should you choose to like that feature, obviously you don't have to, but for those of you that do like the thumb safety, there is one right here on the pistol. Um, it comes with an 8 plus 1 mag or 10 plus 1, and it also comes with a 20 round mag that we'll talk about a little bit later. It comes in uh, black or a nice camo um, finish. Uh, like I said, it slides really good. The, uh, the high point pistol, this does come in different models, uh, but this one we're going to talk about for a specific reason. It comes in a 380, obviously the 9mm, the 40 Smith & Wesson, and a, uh, a 45 ACP. Alright guys, so the, um, the MSRP on this is about $199. Uh, I've seen them as low as $129 uh, a lot of places. So uh, the, first, the first gun in the arsenal is going to be the handgun, and my choice for the budget handgun is a high point 9mm. All right, guys. The next uh, the next option for the home defense self defense arsenal on a budget is we just talked about the night the high point nine millimeter handgun. I'm going to go with the carbine. It's going to be the high point nine millimeter carbine. Now, for a lot of reasons. Uh, once again, I know that high point never, doesn't necessarily have the greatest reputation in the world from a lot of the gun guys. I personally like high point. Uh, they are not flashy. They're not beautiful guns uh, you can beat them to death and they still run uh, there I've never had a problem I do have this particular gun this is not mine uh, this is the shops but uh, I do have this particular gun I actually love this uh, I've done a comparison next to my Beretta CX-4 Storm and um, in a lot of ways 
This actually, uh, the performance is probably a little bit better with the Breda CX4 Storm, but as far as durability and all of that, this thing, man, you can beat this, um, and it's still going to run. So uh, I love the uh, the High Point 9mm carbine. Um, it is a 16 and a half inch barrel. Um, it's about 31 inches in total length. Uh, comes in unloaded at about a little over six pounds. Okay, it does have an internal recoil uh, buffer in the stock here. It is going to cut down on a lot of the recoil right here. Uh, it's a pretty cool stock. It feels good in the shoulder and all that. It's got a sling swivels and a scope base. It does have the uh, upper and the lower rails in case you want to attach lights, lasers, uh, a different optic, whatever you want. Uh, it does come with a uh, rail system already on there, which does help uh, quite a bit. Um, it does have, once again, as the same as the pistol, it does have a thumb safety for those of you that do like thumb safety. Obviously, if you don't, you don't have to use it, but it does come with a thumb safety uh, should you like it. It comes in black or camo, once again, just like the handgun. This is the 10 round mag that will go with the pistol as well. And then you obviously have the red ball 20 round mag that will come in here that gives you a lot of extra capacity uh, should you want it. Um, what I like about this um, setup is not only does it carry the 20 round mag, <clears throat> but if you go 9mm carbine and the 9mm pistol, they do obviously share ammo, but they also share mags as well. So you can uh, interchange the mags between the high point 9mm pistol and the high point 9mm carbine. If you go 380 or 40 Smith or 45 ACP, obviously if you get the same gun and the same carbine, they're going to interchange the magazines as well. But uh, the great thing about this is in a home or self-defense, always if you're going to go with a carbine and a pistol, try to find something that is in the same family that they can interchange the magazines because in a, in a quick situation it's always very very nice to have extra mags if you don't have to worry about is it the same mag or not they're going to interchange they're going to have multiple different capacities so that's always a really good thing um, this is available in just like the handgun the 380 the 9 millimeter 40 smith and wesson 45 ACP and the newest addition to the family for the uh, high point carbines just came out as a 10 millimeter uh, carbine so I have not shot that yet I'm looking forward to maybe get my hands on that one but uh, it does look very very good but right here is the 9 millimeter carbine so this is um, this MSRP is at about 315 I've seen them as low as just under 250 so um, you know you're looking around 249 or something like that you can pick up a uh, a high point nine millimeter carbine once again guys my choice for the home uh, defense arsenal on a budget and the carbine side is the high point nine millimeter carbine this is an awesome awesome weapon all right guys my choice for the third part of the home defense arsenal on a budget is the shotgun and my choice for the shotgun in this situation is the mossberg maverick 88 this shotgun's been around for a long, long time. It has been proven and tested to be not only uh, one of the best shotguns out there for the price, it's also one of the most reliable shotguns out there for the price. It's probably the best shotgun out there for uh, the sub $200 price range. Um, these are great shotguns for people that are just getting into them. Um, but as far as a home defense, you can't go wrong with a Mossberg Maverick 88. Um, it is honestly a, a, a great choice. It's very simple. There's no flashing to it. There's no, there's no anything special. It's just a shotgun that goes bang and it works. Um, it is a 28 inch barrel. Uh, the overall length is just under 48 inches. Uh, it's about a seven pound right, uh, shotgun seven pounds which isn't overly uh, heavy it's it's like I said it's a kind of polymer uh, stock the barrel is blued so uh, it comes around when it's it's basically just a, a, a very basic standard shotgun um, that it just goes uh, the capacity is six with three in the chamber um, it's very very simple there aren't anything crazy on here as far as the mechanics of it it's it's a basic shotgun that you're gonna love get your hands on and it's going to do its job.
The uh, MSRP for these things, they list them at 296, and I've seen them well under 200. I've seen them as low as 169 at some places. But uh, you can pick one of these up for well under $200 pretty much anywhere you go. And uh, it's a great, great shotgun, especially to get started in or for home defense on a budget. Well, guys, I hope that this uh, video has helped you guys on the basic understanding of what you might need for a small arsenal for home or self-defense, especially if you're just getting into it or if you have a very strict, strict budget. Um, these all add up to about just under $550 total for all three of these guns. That leaves you at a $600 budget. That leaves you room to go get ammo for all of these guns as well. Remember, the high point uh, pistol and the carbine, they share the same 9mm ammo. So you're only having to go and get uh, one type of ammo for two of your guns. And then obviously you've got to go get the shotgun shells for the, for the shotgun. But at least for two of the three, you're only looking to go get one type of ammo. So you can stock up on nice 9mm rounds and you can have them to run the handgun and the carbine. Once again, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed and maybe learned something about this. I want to say thanks to Ben and Steven and everyone here at Heber Gun for allowing me to come in and invade their shop on a very busy day to shoot my video. So uh, until next time, Simplify. Hey guys, Ghost here. Just want to say thank you for watching this video and your continued support of the channel. Please check out our website, www.ghosttactical.us, to see all of our ventures, including Patreon. We also invite you to check out gunchannels.com. Once again, thank you for your support. Until next time, Simplify.